welcome back to another what I eat in a day video as always all of the full recipes will be down in the description below for breakfast this morning I started with three pieces of gluten-free bread which I toasted in the oven and then put some avocado on top which I mashed all together then I topped with some pumpkin seeds sunflower seeds sesame seeds and a squeeze of lemon I also had an iced chocolate with this and to make this I started with some cacao as well as some hot water and some maple syrup. I mixed that all together. Then I got a glass with a whole lot of ice in it, poured some almond milk in, and then filled it up with the chocolate mixture I had made. Then I mixed that all together as I always do. And yeah, that's what I had for breakfast this morning, a nice combination of sweet and savory. Moving on to lunch, and today was a very lazy lunch. I just had some frozen bananas, frozen raspberries, frozen spinach, some roasted hazelnuts and some chia seeds, coconut yogurt, almond milk and water to fill, as well as some rice malt syrup and some cacao powder. Then I blended this all together as per usual and poured into a jar where I enjoyed it. I have been absolutely loving smoothies at the moment even though it is the middle of winter. Moving on to dinner and one of my old favorites, I started with two sweet potatoes which I poked some holes in and then drizzled with some olive oil and then I put these in the oven for about 40 minutes until they caramelized. Then I made a sauce with some cashews, almond milk, garlic, lemon, and Dijon mayo. And then I blended this all together until it was a nice fine texture. After that, I chopped up some garlic as well as some spring onion, two of my favorite things in the world. And then I put these into a pan with some olive oil and I let them fry up for about five minutes or so before I added in half a can of black beans and half a can of corn. Then of course I added my favorite seasoning, paprika, and then mixed that all together. Once my sweet potatoes were done, you can see they're nice and soft and caramelly, if that's a word. And then I cut them open and I put the bean corn mixture inside. I also served with some avocado on top as well as my sauce that I made and some sesame seeds. And that's what I had for dinner and also what I ate today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.